Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and turn those notifications on as today the Oilers have made their fourth signing in as many days, signing Philip Berglund to a two-year entry-level contract worth 925000 This was coming for weeks now as we knew... Sorry about the phone, that's doll on your TV there. But anyway, we knew that it was coming as it was reported last week Nima Linen and Berglund were about to sign yesterday was Nima Linen if you haven't gone and seen that video please do and today is Berglund so Berglund was selected in the third round 91st overall in the 2016 entry draft this was his final year of our rights for him to be signed so in that case was we didn't sign him right off the bat if we didn't sign him this year, he was going to walk and be a free agent. And we need bodies down in Bakersfield. <coughs> in 52 games, sorry about that cough. In 52 games, he scored twenty a career-high 20 points, 5 goals, 15 assists in the SHL. He is a right-shot defenseman that stands at 6'2", 209 pounds. So he's totally different than Nima Linen. He is 6'2", so he's 4 inches smaller, but his weight is bigger. So he's more of a shutdown defenseman that can lay the body. He has played in the SHL since the 2015-16 season, his draft year. So Berglund is a mobile puck-moving defenseman who has played on the power play in Sweden. He finished second among scoring in points on his team a season ago, finishing 16 points behind Jonathan Pudas. He is also the f good part about this. He has also played with Philip Proberg. Now you might say, well, why does that matter? Proberg's one of our top defensive prospects, along with Bouchard Samarokov. Now, if Philip Berglund and Philip Proberg, that's going to be tough to say in a row a lot play together over there they potentially could maybe not this year but next year be in Bakersfield playing together and learning off it could be one of those chemistry things where I played with this guy I know where this guy is gonna do where he's gonna go it could work out that way so Berglund's status for the 2021 season as I read while he is the si signed with the Oilers, that doesn't mean he will for sure come to North America. So it's not like Lenstrom and Nimalina where it's almost certain they'll come over. With Berglund, they might keep him over in the SHL as he does... He did sign a two-year contract with the team, I just can't remember... What team it was. So Edmonton can loan him to that team in the SHL. For one year. And then bring him for a second year over. The Oilers too are rebuilding the Bakerfield Condors blue line. If Berglund is to come over here. There will be a spot for him. No doubt on the right side. Last season the Condors employed Logan Day. Joel Pearson, Evan Bouchard, and Vincent Desjardins on the right side. While we all know Pearson was traded at the deadline to Anaheim, while Logan Day is still a pending UFA. Bouchard, and then we talk about Bouchard. Bouchard could be with the Edmonton Oilers next year. So that's possibly t three spots right there. We know one for sure that Berglund could fill. In... All likelihood, though, Berglund will be loaned back to Sweden for a final season before coming over in the fall of 2021. I'm saying that because it could be development at a standstill. He is a potential top six defenseman. If he could play bigger minutes over there, if Edmonton goes, look, we'll loan him. If he plays a certain amount of minutes, plays this, we need to see what we have. And how far he has progressed since 2016. So anyway. That is my rant. About Philip Berglund. 
he has signed a two-year entry-level contract worth 925k with the Edmonton Oilers. Who's next? I just asked all on TV this. Who's next to sign? Is it Sheehan? Is it Ennis? Is it Double A? Let me know in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.